Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about materials and UVs in Unreal 4. If you watched the previous video, this is all set up exactly the same. The only difference is that I've imported different textures. I have a master material, and I have a material instance from that master material, and then I have that material instance applied to these four objects in the scene. Now the master material that we have here is really good for props, characters, anything that's unique. But say that you wanted to tile something like grass or dirt, that's where we want to start messing with the UVs. UVs are usually authored manually so that we can texture them or so that we can tile textures across them. The first thing we'll need is a texture coordinate. And then if you click this drop down, you should notice that this looks kind of like a texture. And we could plug this straight into our UVs and it would work, but we want to give our master material parameters. So kind of like our textures over here where it has RGB, we want to break this out into RGB as well. But how does this help us? So to fully understand this, UVs are actually known as UVWs, with the W access rarely being used. You may have heard me say something like this before. RGB is equal to XYZ, and XYZ is equal to UVW. So if we right click, we're looking for a component mask. And in here, we can choose what channel we're trying to talk to, or which one we're trying to split out. So I'm gonna copy this twice, and for this first one, we just want the red channel, and the second one, we just want the green channel. And we'll plug the texture coordinates into there. We only want the red and green because we don't need the blue channel or we don't need the X axis. From here, we want two multiply nodes. And we'll plug the red into the top, plug the green into the bottom, and then we want a constant one, two of them. We'll convert these to parameters. This one is gonna be our tiling, tiling X. This one is gonna be our Tiling Y. We'll plug these in. Now we need to bring these back together. So we'll right click and we'll look for an append, append a vector. Plug the top into A and the bottom into B. And then to test this out, we'll just put it in the albedo UVs first. Plug it in. We'll click save. And you notice that in here it looks kind of funny. And that's because in our tiling X and Y, we need to set a default value. So we'll set that to 1 for both, and we'll click save again. And it looks normal here. So just to make sure though, let's go take a look at our material instance, we'll pull this to the side. We can see that our tiling X and Y are in here. And now if we change these, we should see the texture updating, or we'll only see the albedo updating. And the immediate fix to that is to come back to our master material and plug this network into each of the other UVs. And we'll see that it's all working. Now, say that you just wanted to offset this and you didn't want to tile this. Instead of using a multiply, we want to use an add node. Cool. Now, if you wanted this to be able to tile and offset, the way that we would do that is by having our multiplies first. And then we would make our add nodes. Put them in here. We'll make two more constant ones, convert those to parameters, call this offset x, call this one offset y, plug this into the top, this into the bottom, plug this one into the top, plug this one into the bottom, and then we'll plug these in to the append. We can hit save. Now we can come back and look at our material instance. Set the tiling to two, offset it, and we can see that it's all working. All right, guys, this should cover materials and UVs in Unreal 4. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.